Right, fuckers, welcome back to Sun of Scotland TV. Just got finished watching SmackDown live. And it wasn't good, the 900 SmackDown there. Tried to make this show good. Was it good? Not really. You had Shane McMahon, Brian, come out, make a couple of matches. Okay, big deal there. They spoil Undertaker's return, but I guess it was already spoiled, so it didn't really matter. We start after the show with Sigler versus Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Winner will obviously retain the belt, win the belt, and go on to Survivor Series to face Sami Zayn. The Miz beat Sigler. Okay, we've helped from Maurice, but we've seen this match about 20 times. What was the point of Sigler coming out on top if he's just going to, you know, end up losing the feud? Fucking stupid. So, uh, Miz wins and it looks like he'll be facing Sami Zayn at the pay-per-view with um, some fucking women. Just Natalia fucking sucking on her whistle. Fucking suck my fucking cock, you stupid bitch. Yeah, she's shite. That's, um, she's fucking... Uh, she, no, the fuck, she's not even blowing into the whistle properly, man. It's just making a retarded sound. Um... So yeah, why why would your captain of the team be some cunt that constantly loses every match? Makes no sense. Uh, we so with that with Carmella versus Nikki Bella with some other crap. We had a tag team match. Uh, between all the tag teams that are in the tag teams of Fiber Series match, we also had a recap of Raw and with Gold the Goldberg Brock Lesnar segment. With JBL saying, oh, it's a Fiverr series, the only the place where you see matches that you'll think will never happen. What do you mean, all the matches that we've seen four months ago when the brands was together? I heard it, JBL, you stupid fuck. Then at the end, with the cutting edge, with edge, he comes out, he, he has a bit of fun with AJ Styles. He uh, kind of tries to bury the JV bit, run him down, tries to get James Ellsworth over. He's interviewing the rest of the team. He's, Randy Orton's been a mute, not talking to him. Bray Wyatt says that uh, you're going to see a more dangerous Randy Orton than ever. That the rate of RKO Randy Orton is gone. And then with the dead man come out, the dead man basically says two things. He says that if they lose against Raw, they will have something to fear, which is him. And he also says that he won't be defined as uh, Mr. WrestleMania. No, not Mr. That's Shawn Michaels. He won't be defined as the man who... He won't be defined by WrestleMania or some shit like that. He says SmackDown is his home, so who knows? Maybe Taker's planning a full time return or even a part time return like a Brock Lesnar schedule. Couldn't tell you. Hopefully, he does it? Will make SmackDown even better. And uh, but I think SmackDown's already better than Robert. Fuck it, these reviews are WWE's pish, man. SmackDown might be better, but it's comparing like a little bit of shite saying a little bit of shite's better than a big shite. It's all fucking shite, guys. Till next time, peace.